Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, we are actually going to do a good old beauty haul. I have some fragrances, I have some things from Ulta, L, from various places. So I wanted to share with you guys everything that I ended up picking up. Before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome, my name is Brie and I am just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot on any makeup. So if that is what you're into, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining this little family. But with that being said, let's get into this video. I have a lot of things piled in the back behind me that I wanted to show you guys in this haul. I've waited for like a couple months to collect things because I rather do one big haul than a bunch of random little hauls. I feel like it's more interesting that way. And I do these hauls so you guys can see what's coming to my collection and you can let me know if you want to see a review on anything or you want to see me use it in a get ready with me if you're curious about any of the products. That's why I do these, not to like show you what I bought or brag about anything. I just think hauls are fun. I love watching hauls, so I hope you guys love watching hauls as well. Also, I will do this as like a bird's eye view where you can see the products really close. We can do swatches together. I actually got this from Jen Phelps. That's how she does her hauls and I love her hauls, so I've been doing that. I feel like it's a lot more interesting than me just showing you the products like this. Also, if you are curious about this eye look, I did film it. I feel so fierce so fall like ugh, i'm just loving this look right now i actually have the is it the samarian or samarian sunset palette from adept cosmetics on my eyes i was doing a review so that video should already be up before this one so i'll link it below I'll put it up in the corner if you want to see how this look came out like how i put it together because it's so pretty anyways so i think we should now get into the haul i'm going to start off with the purchases i did from Ulta, the 21 days of beauty sale that they just had. We'll go into skincare, then makeup, because you know, skincare is not as exciting as makeup. So we'll start with that. So I picked this right up. This is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Daily Cleanser. I really, really love this stuff. And this is a like clay cleanser. You can use it daily. I would recommend this more for like uh, oily skin types, but I'll just show you guys how it looks. It comes out white, but it definitely has like a like a clay feel to it, but it's so good for getting like dirt and oil off the skin. And then they had my favorite body lotion on sale. I think they had this on sale the last 21 Days of Beauty and I picked it up. I always repurchase it if I see it on a sale, but this is from Kapari. This is their Ultra Restore Body Butter. It has like a like a coconut scent. This is with hyaluronic acid. It's a very thick, rich body cream if you're looking for something more thick i always pick this up i go through these like crazy but you see how it has like a thicker texture and it does have a pretty strong scent like you can really smell the coconut scent to it but oh, i love it if you like a coconut scented product but you see how thick it is and it just helps my hands you know moisturize and my body you know you use so much like uh, hand sanitizer throughout the day and washing your hands so definitely revives my hands and I love using this at night too so now we can get into the makeup so let's start off with a primer that I picked up I've not tried this yet this is from Estee Lauder this is the mattifying shine control perfecting primer finisher you know a whole lot of stuff going on I'm oily skin type, so whenever I see mattifying primer, I'm like, I'm so here for it. I'm actually going to open it up. We're going to see what it feels like. Ooh, a safety seal. I love that. And let's see how it comes out. Huh, it actually looks like a, like a lightweight moisturizer. Let me see if it has scent. Mm, I don't know, because all I can smell is the lotion. Why am I even trying to smell it? But it feels like a really lightweight moisturizer, like a nice one. Ooh, that feels good on the skin. I can feel like it's already drying down. So it probably dries down to like a matte finish. Wow, it's drying out really fast. I did get some powders. So let me move this over here. Hopefully this won't blind you. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder. That is like a waterproof setting powder. I heard really great things about this, especially for like mattifying the skin if you have oily skin. From, I think her name is Andrea... Um, Italiano. I watch her channel. I love her. And she recommended this. So she said it's great to keep the skin matte for touch-ups and just keeping your makeup more long wearing. So I was really curious about this. 
and I was like you know what it's half off I might as well finally try it I'm a powder girly now this looks like a little tinted so I'm not sure if this would really work if you had super fair skin which she mentioned in her video to Andrea but for me you know I'm more of like a medium skin type so I think this will be fine it doesn't seem like it will be truly translucent though um I don't know it's not really gonna show I'm sure on my skin like it shows up a little bit but it feels nice and silky and then I picked up this from Uma Beauty I've already tried this product but I went and got a lighter shade this is their uh what is it called Trippin Smooth Powder, their loose setting powder, and I got the shade in translucent. I had picked up medium, and it actually was just too dark for me. I'm not trying to blind you guys with the cat, but I love how this powder feels and what it does for the skin. It just the other one gave me a like dark cast to my skin because it was just too dark. And you're supposed to twist the bottom, which this okay there we go and it's supposed to like let powder go on the bottom. I think that is such innovative packaging. And oh, I just love how it feels. But it did a really good job at like mattifying the skin. So I picked up these from Tarte. These are their Man Eater Blush and Glow Cheap Plump Liquid Blushes. And I was watching Jen Phelps and she raves about these. And you know, they're a pricier liquid blush. So I was like, well, there's a sale and some of these looked like on the glowier side like this one looks more glowy than this one but i picked up the shade cod peachy pink and the shade cod strawberry isn't that beautiful let's let's swatch both of them and it has like a big doe foot applicator kind of like the ones from juvia space but this one's just longer let's see sorry i keep hitting the um my camera stand huh Oh, this one looks like it's just going to be a little bit more sheer. But this one has a lot of glow to it. I don't know if you guys can see it. I feel like my camera is not focusing on it. It's a little bit light. This might end up being more of like a blush topper for me. But I don't know. It looks really pretty. You see that glow? She said such great things about these liquid blushes. And then the strawberry one is probably going to be more pigmented. Because just the color it is they have a really nice texture to it Ooh, i love that shade i love a strawberry blush and this one definitely doesn't have as much glow as this one even though they both are called like blush and glow oh my god it feels a little tacky but she says these dry down really well Ooh, that's pretty i like these two shades i have these stick blushes too from persona Jen Phelps also raved about these and I love a good stick blush. So I have the shade called Jam. Oh my god, I love this color. This is going to be a great fall color. Ooh, they're super creamy. Oh yes, look at that beautiful jammy berry color. That's pretty. And Andrea Matigliano also raves about this specific color from Persona. And then I got the one in Bubble, which was like so trendy over the summertime. Like this bright pink color. Kept selling out, but I was able to get my hands on it. Oh yeah, that's a fun pink. Now let's get into a powder blush. I think I only picked up one powder blush, which is surprising. It's this one from Minted. I've been wanting to try this brand for a while. So I was like, you know what? The time is now since it's on a discount. What shade did I get? Oh, there's a little plastic insert. And this one is in Pinky Promise. What a cute name. Oh, look at that shade. And it looks like it's supposed to be a glowy blush because I'm all about a glowy blush. So let's, let's swatch that together. I'll definitely do like a get ready with me trying out these products you guys can let me know what you're most interested in seeing please oh that's a beautiful pink oh there's some like gold specks in it i don't know if you guys can tell but that looks really pretty oh i love that and then i did pick up their bronzer from minted this was also part of the sale and i got the shade called beach bum it was kind of hard to tell which one i should get but i try to find the one that leans a little bit more cool tone because I do have kind of pinky red undertones to my skin and most bronzers lean really warm and orange but I think this is gonna work 
it looks kind of light like maybe this will work for me better in the winter time when i start to fade because i'm pretty tan right now from going to costa rica so i feel like maybe this won't be dark enough but we'll swatch it right here actually no i think it would work it has a lot of pigmentation to it it leans a little warm but it's not like orange at all i think this is actually gonna be a really good shade for me and then i picked up a few lip products i got these two right here from juvia's place i wanted these for so long i believe these are glosses but i got the shade called sis and the shade called bronze sugar so let's swatch them over here they just look so pretty and these kept selling out like all the time <gasps> Ooh, that's like a milky chocolate. Yes, my favorite kind of color to wear. And then the one in bronze sugar, looks like it's gonna be a little lighter and a little bit more milky. Oh yeah, this is definitely like a light nude shade, but I think both of them will work on my lips. And the last two things I got from the sale was these from About Face. So I picked up their mascara it had pretty good reviews i don't know exactly the name of this mascara this is the 1994 mascara i guess um but this was on a really good deal and the reviews are really good so i was like you know what i'm gonna try it because i love trying out mascaras oh this is similar to like the end on like the milani highly rated mascara that i love i'll probably really like this okay Excited. I love trying mascaras and then I picked up the about face eye primer I heard was it and Jessica or Angelica Nikovis I think that's like the name she goes by on YouTube but she read about this and said it was really nice the reviews were so so but I mean let's see okay it's more of like a translucent primer and I think it's just gonna leave you with like a nice tacky base. Doesn't feel super sticky though. I forgot I picked up two fragrances from the sale. I've been so into perfume lately, but this is from Coach. This is the Dream Sunset scent. And this was one of the surprise steals. And I really liked the description of the notes on this. And it was like 40 bucks, which I thought was a really good deal. And it's so cute. And the little sprayer comes out of this flower. It is plastic, which feels kind of like it could break easily. But I really, really like how this smells. It's a nice, light floral scent, like a good everyday scent. But the notes on this one is pear, jasmine, and tonka bean. And it says it's in the scent family for woody floral. And then I picked up this one from Fresh. This is the warm cashmere scent. And I really love this like bergamot one that I have from them. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this out. And it seemed like a perfect scent for the fall time. I've been getting into more fally scents, more gourmand scents. And I really love the like notes that this had. It says it's considered woody gourmand. And the top note is juicy tangerine. And there's cashmere wood orchid and the base is vanilla bean creamy sandalwood and skin musk and it definitely has like a warm creamy scent to it like a very cozy folly scent so i figured i'd show you guys this palette in this haul as well because i'm not going to make like a dedicated review on this i'll probably use it in a get ready with me testing out these products but this is from glamanatrix cosmetics this is the sugar and spice palette i love the faux leather effect on here it looks very sophisticated like cigar room vibes i think this might be their holiday theme because the names on here i already stuck my fingers and the shades because they're so pretty i figured we could swatch it together on camera right we should okay you guys are gonna like just die over these they're so pretty glamanatrix has an amazing formula they're based out of australia just takes a while for their things to come if you're not like on their pr but look at that oh my gosh so here's vanilla what this is fennel i believe these are dual chromes and look at this Oh my god, they're so bright. All would make beautiful inner corner highlights. I think this one's nutmeg. And then we'll get into mustard, star anise, and meringue. And their mattes are also really good. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I'm like dying over here because they're so beautiful. I love a green metallic like that. And like look at this multi-chrome. It's definitely on the smoother end. Like one of those traditional 
multi-chromes. Can you guys see how pretty these are? And then this matte. Wow, it's very pigmented. It would probably make a really good inner corner highlight or like a brow bone highlight. And then there's this shade called Brulee. And then we have Sticky Date. And I'll keep going here. Okay, so you have some light ones. This is more gray, that's more beige. Then this one's like a very gray matte. Then we have the shade Brownie, which looks like a cool tone brown. And then this beautiful matte black, which the matte black has shimmer in it. So let's start off with brownie. Very nice cool tone brown. And then this beautiful matte black. Who doesn't love a matte black? Nice and pigmented. Now let's get down to this bottom row. We have taffy, lavender, a gumdrop. Is this not giving Easter right here? <laughs> oh, I love their formula. Beautiful pastel yellow would make a beautiful inner corner highlight. Then we have this gorgeous lavender and, and this beautiful lavender matte. And then the very last shades, we have basil and the shade called mint. Wow, I love a pigmented mint shade. Okay, so here is basil and then here is that beautiful mint. These are gorgeous. Do you see these shades and these metallics? So now we're going to get into my e.l.f. purchases. So I went on e.l.f.'s website to pick up this uh, low glow sunscreen and then I decided to pick up a few other things because I got a little sample of this and I really liked it. It feels very hydrating. It gives glow. It has 30 SPF but this one I don't think is a mineral sunscreen. I think this is a chemical sunscreen so I won't wear this to like the beach or the coastline like that but like everyday wear to like work and under my makeup I actually really really like it it feels good on the skin it gives a beautiful glow and typically I don't go for glow but it doesn't make my makeup break up or get you know oily or more glowy than anything and let me show you guys how it looks on the skin and see it has like a little bit of a tint I guess to try to avoid having like a white cast but you see it just gives like a beautiful like nice kind of natural glow to it and then i was like you know what let me get a few other things so i did pick up the sun touchable all set for sun 45 spf setting spray i don't normally use setting spray so i got this more so i could reapply spf throughout the day over my makeup sounds like there's like a little thing in there to shake things up but let me see what the sprayer is like Okay, it's kind of an aggressive spray, but I am spraying it really close to my hand. But, um, you know, I think this will work. kind of has like an alcohol smell to it, so I don't know if it's going to be drying or not. But it does say it has watermelon fruit extract and prickly pear seed oil. So I guess it's supposed to be good for all skin types. And then I got these two from e.l.f. This was a gift with purchase. This is their Power Grip Primer in Niacinamide. I like the regular Power Grip uh, Primer, so I like the idea of having Niacinamide added in this. This would be perfect for travel. And then I picked up the Liquid Poreless Putty Primer. I didn't try the one that's in the pot form, but I was like, you know what? I like this packaging better. And I was like, you know what? I could, I could use a smoothing primer. So let's see if it really does smooth out the skin. I heard good things about this. I think most people like it. Oh, it's like really liquidy. I think people are kind of comparing this to the Tatcha one. So we'll see. It does feel a little slippy. Maybe there is some silicone in it, but it actually feels nice. Did it smooth anything? I don't know if it did. I mean, it's hard to tell on my hand, but we're going to see because I do have enlarged pores on my skin. So now let's unbox my Trend Mood box. I love Trend Mood. I love it. You get to see everything that's coming in there. And then you can decide whether to pick it up or not. And I was intrigued by this box. So I got it. So let's go over everything that was in here. There is the Thrive Cosmetics Impact Full Semi-Permanent Smoothing Lipstick. This is actually a new product for Thrive Cosmetics. I love their mascara. Um, but they came out with this beautiful lipstick oh it looks like maybe it's one of those that pop yeah and this shade is in is it jessica yeah 
This one looks like, ooh, it looks red. I was thinking it was gonna be more pinky. Let's see. Oh, it's like a pinky red. Ooh, it feels very creamy. More like a satin. And then it also came with this from Thrive. I don't know if this is new, um, but this is the Infinity Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Pen. I could always use a liquid eyeliner. So let's see. I think the one I have is kind of running out from LA Girl. And we'll see what the tip is like. Is this a brush tip or a felt tip? I think it's a brush tip, but I don't, I don't care. Oh, let me shake it out. Oh, it looks like you'll be able to do like really good little fine lines in it. It's not like the blackest, darkest liner I've seen, but it seems like it's going to be pretty good, right? And then there was also a uh, mascara from Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Lash Sculpt Lanthanine and Volumizing Mascara. Love trying a new mascara. Let's see. I don't think this is a new product. I don't even know what the reviews are on this, but let's see what the brush looks like. Oh, it is a, a, a thinner brush, which is what I prefer. Huh. Okay, it looks like maybe it might be a wet formula, which is also what I prefer. Then there was this blush. This was the main reason why I wanted this box because I've been wanting to try this blush forever from RMS Beauty. I've looked at it a million times on Sephora's website and just never pulled the trigger because it's hard to spend a lot for just one blush. But when I saw it in the box, I was like, yes, I finally get to try it. Look at that. It's a peachy one. What is the shade name called Mai Tai? Oh, I love this. Okay, let's put my finger in there. It feels like more of a, like a baked formula. Oh my god, look at that glow. I love a glowy blush. I've been wanting to try this blush for so long. And then there was a few skincare items. So let's start off with the Varsali the Reset Renewal Fluid Cream. This is supposed to be bright and smooth and firm. It has vitamin C, niacinamide, 10 peptides five ceramides let's see so okay it's plastic packaging it looks cool and it looks like oh you press it from the top it looks like it's gonna be like a lightweight moisturizer yeah like a gel moisturizer huh okay i like gel moisturizers feels good Ooh, and i could use another moisturizer for my face and then there was also this from Kapari. This is the SPF 50 Sun Shield Body Glow Gel. Supposed to be 40 minute sweat and water resistant, paraben free, and supposed to give you a glow. So we shall see. Ooh, look at the glow. Look at the bottle. I love that. I don't tend to use like glowy body oils like this, but the idea of it having SPF intrigues me the most. Um, so we'll see. Oh yeah, it comes out really liquidy. Oh yeah, it feels good. It doesn't feel really heavy. I've tried body like oils like this before and it felt like so sticky on the skin, but this one doesn't feel like overly sticky. Oh, look at that glow. There's a scent to it. It smells great. And then there was a, one last thing in here, the least exciting thing, at least to me, this is the Zit Stickers Killer Extra Strength Fast Acting Patch for Deep Early Stage Zits. It has 2% Silic Acid in it. And yeah, I mean, you know, I can always benefit from this when I'm having like a major breakout. But they're just like little stickers that come in individual packs. So now let's get into the last bit of this haul, which is perfumes. If you're not a fragrance person, maybe this might not be that interesting. But I've been really into Skylar lately. So I have the Vanilla Sky one. I figured this would be really good for the fall season. This is uh, Cappuccino Pure Vanilla and Caramelized Cider. It's the note. And it's really beautiful. It does have a little bit of a coffee scent to it which I love a good coffee scent. I love the bottle aesthetic. It just has a very fresh, clean aesthetic to it. And it smells so good. And there is that vanilla scent to it and a little bit of warmth from the cedar. So then I got some more like tropical scents. So I got this one called Capri Summer. This one has the notes of bergamot, neroli, and blood orange. And it's definitely giving like a more 
capri mediterranean vibe and it smells so good love the bottle and you definitely can smell like the bergamot the orange the neroli it's just a really pretty fresh a little floral a little citrusy kind of scent and then i also got this one right here called lime sands this has the notes of lime sea salt and coconut water and it definitely has a lot of lime to it and coconut it's a beautiful summer beachy scent and i just adore it so much you can really smell the lime it just comes through so strong in the first part and then the coconut yeah the coconut and the lime are really prominent in here it smells like a coconut lime margarita it smells amazing if you like more of a tropical coconut scent and then this one right here is boardwalk delight this one is like one of their most popular scents it's more of a sweeter one but this one has pure vanilla cotton candy and coconut milk so it is definitely a lot sweeter i just love everything from them so this is what it looks like the aesthetic the vibes and this one is so sweet well not sickly sweet it's not one of those overpowering sweets but it's definitely on the sweeter side. You can smell the cotton candy. You can smell the coconut. Oh, I just really, really like this one. And I can tell why it's like so popular. Then the last perfume I picked up is from Sniff. This is the House of Eight scent. They just came out with this. It is a collab with Larry, which I'm not familiar with who he is. So the notes on this one is white sage, Irish chocolate, vanilla, lavender flower, and sandalwood. I was like, hmm i'm intrigued by this being like a chocolate scent so I'll pull it out and i actually really like it and the chocolate really does stick out especially when you first spray it it has a lot of chocolate to it and then the dry down is a little bit more warm and that like sandalwood really comes through you can smell a little bit of the vanilla the sage it's a really beautiful scent i love the bottle too it's giving more like halloween vibes like vampire vibes and i was like you know what i really like it and then this is how it comes it came in a glass bottle and it's just different like oh my god now this one I feel like could be more of a unisex scent. I mean all their scents are considered unisex. But I feel like this would work both on a man and a woman. So that was everything for this haul. Fragrances, skincare, makeup, all types of goodies. So let me take you guys back to my face so we can wrap up this video. All right loves, that was everything for this haul. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You guys see I have been really into fragrances lately. I just, I don't know, I can't get enough of perfume and, and I got like this Skylar subscription and now I'm obsessed and I keep buying more and more from them because their stuff is so good and they have so many options. And then, you know, the Trend Mood box, I got some good stuff from Ulta, even though a lot of people didn't seem to be that excited about the Ulta sale, but I thought they had some really good like hidden gems. So. I'm excited about everything that I picked up, but you guys will have to let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Is there anything you saw in this video today that you would like me to use on my channel, like a review or in a get ready with me? Please let me know. I would love to hear from all of y'all. And if you're new here and you enjoy this video and you like a lot of fun, colorful makeup content, you like a lot on hauls, indie makeup, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I'd love to have you here. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I I will have all the products linked today that I featured in case you want to see more about them and I will link other videos of mine other hauls you might be interested in watching as well as the review that I did for this look with the Sumerian or Samarian Sunset Palette from Adept Cosmetics I will have my makeup links as well what's on my face foundation all that good stuff in case you're curious I will also have my contact and my social media platforms linked I'm also on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty so if you guys want to join my Instagram I would really really love that but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for hanging out with me for a bit I really really appreciate it and I just hope all of you are doing well wherever you are in the world and just send you guys so much light and love but until next time bye guys <music>